Hi everyone, Brian Ruiz here. Hey, uh, if you haven't connected with me on LinkedIn, go ahead and do so. Um, I post a lot of great articles and videos and uh, some information, pictures and so forth, uh, all in the print industry focused on the inkjet. But uh, I wanted to share with you a tip. So a lot of times I'm working, I need some ambient noise in the background or some something playing. And I want to share with you one of my favorite websites. Uh, for inkjet information and knowledge is inkjet insight inkjetinsight.com and this is a great article because I get a lot of people asking me information or feedback about how they could print on gloss coated stocks what's the best way to do it there's a lot of different types of technologies so uh, this is one of my favorite uh, articles that they posted but what's really cool I want to share with you a tip on this is that in Microsoft Edge browser it has a capability to actually read back the the the, the website. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to, to play this for you and go ahead and uh, let's listen to see Production what... Production inkjet printing is making its way into higher demand print quality applications, slowly but consistently taking market share from the commercial inkjet printing market. As the inkjet OEMs pursue market segments that require offset level print quality, users of those machines also want to be able to print on coded stocks. Sometimes this can be accomplished using inkjet coated stocks developed at the paper mill, but sometimes printers want to use offset coated stocks. Most often the latter is accomplished by adding a primer to inline on the inkjet device. But, there are challenges. These papers allow the ink to stay on the surface of the paper and now that an extra layer of fluid has been applied, drying becomes even more of a challenge. You might think, no big deal add some more drying power and turn up the heat. It seems like it should be easier to get everything to dry when higher temperatures are applied, right? Well, testing tells us that it can be just the opposite. When drying pigment ink on coated substrates, if the air temperature becomes too high, the top of the surface ink will become skinned over while keeping the ink within soft. Your printed piece ends up looking a bit like my favorite dessert, cream brulee, but not at all tasty. But the problem doesn't stop there. If the ink surface becomes skinned over, it stays tacky and can stick and cause ink buildup on the rollers. Then the roller buildup can cause picking, scratching, gloss scuffing, and other print defects on the rest of your inkjet production. Print head jetting is often wrongly blamed for many of these print defects when it is actually a drying issue. So that's a, a quick snip of this uh, great blog, Inkjet Insight. If you haven't signed up, you should sign up. Great group of people over there. I pretty much could probably say with confidence I've read every single article multiple times. And as you can see with the little up, with this little uh, reading capability in the Edge browser, I even just play it in, in the uh, background as it reads all the different articles. But uh, you know, the re reason why I picked this article I just wanna share with you is that I do get this question a lot about the ink sets. Um, and if you haven't been to one of my presentations or videos, um, you know, I strongly suggest reaching out to me, but uh, Xerox has solved that problem uh, using our high fusion ink set. So we're giving the capability to print on, you know, gloss stocks without any pre or post treatment, um, uh, no additional bonding agents or anything like that. So it really allows less moisture into the paper, lower drying requirements. So shoot me a message, text, email, uh, follow me on my social media so you can get updates to the information and what's going on in the industry. Um, also too, is if you wanna message me, I could send you actually a High Fusion Ink a white paper that really talks about the different uh, drying capabilities, uh, the different technologies out there and what would be best suited for you and your applications and your clients. So uh, uh, that's my little uh, tip for today. Uh, feel free to call, text, or email me. Follow me on my social media channels. Have a wonderful day.